The time has come to skin this brute. What we're going to do right now is cape it. This is a real trophy. I've never gotten a mule deer this big, so Ethan is really blessed to have a mule deer this size. It's a 26 inch wide outside spread mule deer, and it's got one brow tine that's missing right here. It looks like it got broke off due to like uh, maybe a fight. And then this is kind of neat right here. It's got a little sticker point coming out. That's kind of kind of unique right there, and uh, it's got. A, a couple big bumps right here like it was going to grow something but it's just a really nice mountain mule deer for montana for uh, you know mountain montana eastern montana grows some big mule deer but this is a big buck for out here so we're going to cape it and that means we're basically going to skin the head and that way we can mount it we'll probably roll up the cape and freeze it so we can mount it later this winter well now we have it caped and there it is we are going to mount it so uh there's the antlers and there's the cape it's all caped and we're now gonna stick it in the freezer until we're ready to uh start mounting it so that's quite the antlers we might go ahead and score it and see why it scores just out of curiosity sure is a beauty huh ethan yeah if you like hunting go back and watch the video of ethan's uh mule deer buck and we posted it what was it like about december ethan or november, november december and go back and look at that video if you want to see the hunt uh, of Ethan's mule deer buck that we have here. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're actually in my parents' basement and we're going to uh, start mounting this uh, mule deer buck. And uh, as you know, if you've followed us for a little while, uh, my parents had a house fire and so we had to completely redo the house. So all my taxidermy, I used to do taxidermy work just kind of on the side, I mounted numerous deer and elk and some things like that. Um, but there was a fire and there was a lot of water damage, so we had to really redo the house, so it's a mess down here. So the first thing we have to do is clean this place up. So uh, we're excited, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it takes quite a while, so we're gonna be doing this on multiple Saturdays, multiple evenings when we have time. And uh, today what we're gonna try to do first is just get it cleaned up, maybe get this on, on the mannequin. We already have the, the form ordered and uh, and also, I think what we're going to try to do is get the hide, the cape, um, salted and get that started uh, to prep. So here we go, boys. Let's get to work, huh? All right, let's do that. Let's do this thing. Okay, you can tell it's just a mess down here. I'll have to show you that. That's something I, I mounted. That's what you call right there a hoot and nanny. <laughs> and yeah, it's just it's there's stuff everywhere so there used to be a stairway here actually upstairs we took that out put a new floor in yep everything's pulled away from the walls we did some of the flooring the plumbing so we're just going to start cleaning this place up here we go Keith, you want to start prepping the form? Mm -hmm. Okay, get some sandpaper and just get out all the bumps and ridges and rough it down a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna take out the cape and we've let it thaw for the last couple days. Probably nice and bloody. And we're gonna have to prep it so we can get it salted. Basically what we're gonna do today is just get all the chunks of meat off and we have to, what's called turning the ears. Um, we turn the ears inside out, we turn the nose, the lips, and the eyes inside out and take any large chunks of meat off then we got to put salt on it. There we go. Nice and cool, so a little bit frozen. That's awesome. Yep, so there's the... There it's all skinned out. All right, time to get to work. All right, we're uh, now, I think we're done with, um, we turned the ears and we turned the eyes inside out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but we turned the eyes inside out. We turned the nose inside out and all the lips. So now we're gonna put salt on it. So let's take it over to the salting table. And we're gonna let salt be on here for like a couple days. I always wanted to do taxidermy work actually. Even when I was about nine years old, I started really wanting to do taxidermy work, but I didn't really get into it until I was about 18. And then I bought these tools and I made this table, this fleshing table. So when you put salt on it, it pulls the liquid out and it drains down in here and then it will put a bucket on the end and it runs into the bucket. So that's why it's on an angle like this. So we're just gonna pour salt on everything. Okay, this is fine mixing salt. Oh, I think it got a little bit of moisture from the fire that my dad had in all the water in the fire department. Okay start with that. Okay, now we're just gonna fill every nook and cranny with this salt. Oh, that's good, super tight. Okay, let's get the paper mache out. Okay, we're going to make some paper mache here. Okay, call, call it good right there. Let me mix that up a little bit. Super dry. Might be about right, though. We're just putting this paper mache on here, or the floor, and uh, replicate the way it was before. Well, here's what we got done today. We got uh, this thing sanded down and the antlers on. We got the mache on here. We had the hide salted over there. And we are gonna call it a day because now we have to let this dry and then we'll come back. Um, next thing we have to do is we'll have to take the hide and we're gonna have to put it, put it in a pickle so we can shave it and get it ready for mounting. Now this thing is gonna be ready for mounting very close. Um, good for now, that's all we can do for now until this mache dries. So anyways, this was day one. It took us, what, how long did it take us, boys? Uh, like three hours or something to get all this done. Uh, yeah, we'll get everything cleaned up in here, and and so we're gonna get out of here, I guess. So now we're a couple weeks later, and here you can see this hide is completely dry. The salt is completely dry and crunchy. 
we're going to have to take this off, take this all off and throw it away. And then we're going to put this thing in what's called a pickle. And this is going to soften up the hide and thicken the hide, to make it swell up. Then we're going to put it on our fleshing machine and uh, shave it down until it's really thin so we can stretch it and tan it. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, well, we got the salt off of it, and that's just, just one hard um, piece of hide right now. So now what we have to do is we just realize we don't have enough salt to put in our pickle solution. So I guess that's all we can do tonight, so we have to go to town to get some salt. And that's going to have to be another day, so bummer, but that's how it goes. So, so much for one night, five minutes. Okay, we're back again. This is a couple days later, and here's the cake still. Um, and I did get buy some salt, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix our salt in this um, tub right here. And we're going to mix what's called a pickle, and we're going to put the hide in here. And the hide is going to swell up so then we can take it on our uh, fleshing machine and uh, shave it down. So first of all, we got to make uh, put together our mixture of salt and something called safety acid and water. Okay, now we've got the solution mixed up right here, and uh, Ethan's going to put the cape in there. Kind of have to double it up to get in there, it's going to be a little tight. Well, here you go. As you can see, I'm back here uh, in my dad's basement, <laughs> and um, it's uh, another evening, and I think the boys were I'm trying to get them to help me always actually they want to help but tonight they have a project school project that they're doing so I said go ahead and finish that because tomorrow uh, they need to have it done for tomorrow so you go ahead and finish that and I'll go and uh, I'm going to work on this cape today and uh, we're going to uh, finish uh, getting it all ready for uh, tanning actually we're going to give it another shaving with this uh, fleshing machine here and I've got to trim all around the nose and the eyes and the face and everything. And then we're going to put it back in the pickle. And tomorrow night, I'm hoping we can come back. If there's any holes, there's a couple holes, sew those up and get everything done, prepped, and then uh, get it neutralized and uh, get the tanning oil on it. So, and then Saturday, come in Saturday all day and get it mounted. So hopefully by Saturday evening, this guy right here will have uh, his skin back on his face. So, here we go, time to get started. Now this is the second time that I'm shaving this, and I'm just getting a little bit more of the like there's a little bit of the stuff left on I, I couldn't get off last time. So now I'm just getting it, just kind of really smoothing it out and taking every little bit off that I kind of got left on last time. And uh, just making it as thin as I possibly can so that the shaving, that the uh, tanning oil uh, will soak into the skin and actually tan it properly. All right, now we're here on the next evening and I got Ethan doing some stitching here. And this is his meal there, so I brought him down, and he is stitching this up. And we've got a couple more stitches here that we did. And a couple tiny little holes, but I'm not too worried about that one. Maybe I should stitch it, but I think it's okay. And I got everything trimmed up. What we're going to do now is we're going to put this thing in the solution to get it uh, neutralized it. we're going to tan it okay we've had mr muley in the neutralizer now for 30 minutes and we're going to take him out and we're going to rinse him in there just a little bit take him out and then uh, put some dry him off a bit and then get some uh what do you call it tanning stuff on him Okay, now Ethan's going to put on this tanning stuff. There you go. 
Now just take your gloves and just I'll get your coat in it. Just gonna move it everywhere. Rub it in. Yep, just like that. Now we've got this uh, cape all ready and it is all um, covered in this uh, tanning oil and we're going to let that sit uh, overnight. So we got to get it from that right there to that. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, good morning. Here we are again. I know it seems like back and forth, back and forth, and that is kind of the way it ha has been. Uh, but today is the major day. I'm thinking about four to five hours. Uh, that is because I am not super duper fast. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get this thing mounted up. So last night we came in and we finished sewing all the holes. And now as you can see, is the cape all rolled up. It is tanned. And right there uh, is the mule deer with Nothing but the antlers, wearing nothing but the antlers, so we're going to get him mounted up today. That is the plan. So first things first, we've got to take uh, and get our eyes in here and, and get clay around them. So that's what we're going to be doing first. Okay, there I've got one eye done. Got the clay around it, and I've got to do the other eye. There are the eyes. The clay is finished. What's hard is to make both of these eyes look like they're they're equal, and that one's not like staring out in space, and, and the other one's looking at you. So, I think it looks pretty close. It's not perfect, but by the time the skin's on there, I don't think you can uh, you can tell the difference. So, an, an eye has got a couple parts. It's got points. It's got this point up here, then it's got a point up here, and then one back here. So, it's like a three pointed. Should look kind of like an almond when it's done a little bit. So. There you go, the next step is I've got to take the uh, the cape now. I'm going to unroll it here and we're going to get the ear liners in the ears and put Bondo in them. Okay, we're working on putting this Bondo inside the ears. And it is a bit tricky to do that. Squish it all inside there. So I have a limited amount of working time because I have hardener in there. And I do not want it to get hard before I have my ear liner in there. Now we're just going to push this ear liner in there and hope for the best. Now the trick is to get this ear liner all the way to the tip. And there I can feel it. Okay, we're going to put hide paste on right now. Basically glue. Slather it on. Hold it, Ethan. That's probably about all we can deal with at the very moment here. Make sure every part is covered with hide paste and you can see I'm really um, making use of these paper towels because I don't have a brush. Okay what we're doing now is we're putting big uh, chunks of clay in here to recreate to uh, recreate the um, ear butt that we took out so a bunch of meat and stuff in there so that's what we're doing we're packing clay in here uh, to replace that just jamming it up in there and uh, we'll have to smooth it out to make the transition smooth between that and the bond that we just put in there now we have everything ready our ear butts are done uh, there's the face we have I think we got everything done. So now we're gonna just literally pick this thing up. And in a few moments, we're gonna have this thing on the deer. So we have high paste on everything. And we're gonna try to get it on here without ruining everything. Ethan, you wanna get the mouth right there? Try to get the nose up around there while I wiggle.
Okay. Well, right there. I think we're almost there, guys. That belongs right there. Okay, what we're doing here is we're, um, I'm in the process of tucking this these nostrils inside and I'm working up here on the nose and then we're gonna get take care of the lips on the bottom here. What are you doing, Ethan? Um, I'm stitching the back together now. This whole thing right up here. Okay, well, there this old boy is. It looks pretty rough yet just because, uh, you know, he's got plugs in his nose and pins coming out of his eyes and stuff. But uh, pretty happy with the way he turned out. I really like his big Roman nose here. And I think once he dries and we got him all uh, prettied up, it's going to be pretty good. He's got a nice white spot down here and uh, just a really mature buck. Um, something we can be, Ethan can be pretty proud of. So I like it. I think it turned out pretty good, but uh, we're going to let him dry a few days now, and then we're going to come back, and uh, every couple days we're going to come back and kind of brush him a little bit, and as he dries, we've got to put in a few pins here and there to uh, just make sure he stays drying the way he's supposed to. So that's all for today. Well, it took us about four and a half hours or so to, yeah. to do all this, I think. And there we are. Okay. Okay, it is now a lot later, like a month later, and we're finally coming back to finish it. So what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna try to finish everything. We may have to come back one more time, but we're just gonna take this airbrush and we're giving it all a coat of base of white first. And after the white's dry, or it dries really fast, after the white's on, we're gonna come in and give it a couple other colors yet. So we're just doing around the eyes here up into the tear duct, and then up in the ears here. Then once we, we're gonna brush it all out and it's gonna come off of everything except it's gonna stay on the skin, but it'll come off. There goes the air compressor. It'll come off the skin, but it'll stay, uh, it'll come off the hair, but it'll stay on the skin. Hodgepodge on the nose right here. He's replicating those nose dots. The big day has come. We're gonna hang this brute on the wall right here. Finally got it done after working on it for a long time. Hopefully I can get it up there. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Whoa. You don't let that thing spin on me, Ethan. Otherwise it could be catastrophic. You oh. got her? I don't know. He was looking right there, but not so much. I'm gonna drop anything here in the world. I hurt right now. Mommy, mommy. Oh, we got it. I can't breathe. Oh. Is that right? Okay, which way does it need to go, Michael? Uh, yeah, unless. Uh, Wait, I don't know. Oh, brisket, it was I uh, don't think, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Billy, yep. Okay. yep. Keep going, keep going. Okay, Get feels good. Man. Brisket, here's a mini. I need a man. Uh, yeah, so it's really good. That's real close. Okay. Real close. Sweet! That's Ethan's buck right there, and then that's Justin's buck. He shot his first buck that he shot, a nice white tail. And that's a, a bull elk that I got in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, six by seven. And then that's Ethan's mule deer, uh, sorry, Ethan's white tail that he got last year, or last season before last. Nice white tail, four by five. And then this is one I shot um, the year before I was married, and it's not a very big deer, but it has some special meaning I'll have to share it sometime.